Welcome to, welcome to, I about butchered that, Mary, my opening there. Welcome to Lumberton, North Carolina. Uh, we're doing a full pull exclusive with Mary Kale. Ah. Now it's, it looks like keel, yes. but it's pronounced like the vegetable. Like the vegetable, kale. So every announcer for the rest of your life, if you butcher Mary's name, yeah. we're gonna, I don't know, I don't know what I to say. I'll kill you, you. we're gonna I'll kill you. Hey, yeah. you are for, how you doing? Yeah. How you doing, Mary? Yeah. Mary, spending their inheritance. I met you and Mike and the team back in, is it Chambersburg, Pennsylvania? Uh, I was a rain. And it got rained out. Yes. I got super drunk yeah. that night. I think um, everybody did. It was at your trailer. I'm yeah. gonna blame you partially yeah. for that. So, but it was a good time. Yeah. You said you liked Canadian whiskey. I did. I drank all of your Canadian yes. whiskey, yes. and well, I appreciate you. I'm sure Mike helped you. Yeah, no, I was not That's alone. His favorite. It wasn't like everybody stood around and just watched me. I felt like I was. <laughs> I felt like I was part of something special. Yeah, yeah. We had a good time that night. You have a neat story. Never really went to pulling. Got in a Grand National Mini Rod level. Tell us, tell us the story. Oh, geez. I think I've told this. Maybe not. Um, we went to Bowling Green. We wanted to go for years. Our kids were in 4-H. So we couldn't go because our local fair was always during the same week as Bowling Green. So the kids had to finish their, you know, 18, until they were 18, be done with 4-H. So as soon as my daughter got done with 4-H, we went to Bowling Green the following year. And we had never been there. We had never seen a mini rod because you don't, they don't pull them in Western right. New York. So we get out there, we see the mini class, we looked at each other, and we're just like, holy cow. I need one. We love this class, <laughs> it's the coolest thing, and we went for many years after that. And he, you know, he said, we're going to do this someday, and I said, yeah, okay, ha, ha. sure. And then in, it must have been 2017, yep. Richard Peters had a sign on the back of the wing of his advanced chassis. He wanted to go planetary rear end, and he couldn't do it with advanced, so he had rolling chassis for sale on the back of his tractor. And, and Mike you know, saw it. Next thing you know, he's talking to Rick on the phone, and we bought it. This is 2017. I believe it's 2017. So just a chassis. Who did the, who did the first motor? Um, we bought it from Joe Ader. It was one of the motors off of his multi-engine of that. Good choice. Year, and uh, Irv Clark is also a friend of ours who will drive truck driver. And between Irv and Joe Ader. They helped us get the thing on the chassis and make it go. Yeah, those are pretty good names to have as yes, friends. If, yes. I, if I was to choose friends in this spark plug yes. world, that's definitely, yes. I think you did okay, Mary. Yes. Well played, well yes. played. Yes, and I, they I live close by. Give you knuckles for that. So. They live close by. And uh, so at that point, now we got all together and it's ready to go. Irv is going to Memphis. Irv says, we'll put you on the top deck and come to Memphis with us. So that must have been 2018. That was the PPL tr race track one, right? Yes, at the yes, drag yes, strip. yes. It must have been 2018, yes. I believe. So we went out there with Irv. I told Mike, I said, you should figure out how to make it run, how to set up, and all of that. You drive the first season, I'll drive the second season. We didn't want to be switching out back and forth. It just makes a sense to do it that way. So he was all ready to be in the seat to drive until they went up to the scale. And they came back from the scale, and he said, did you bring all your safety equipment? I said, yeah. He said, well, you're going to be running it. Holy cow. Okay, well, he didn't know any more about it than I did because we've never. Right. Stock tractors and uh, garden tractors was all he'd ever done. So, mind you, they got it all set up for him. I get out there on the track. I go. I don't know what I'm doing. It's kind of jumping and hopping. The buckles on the um, five-point harness pulled through the hole in the back of the seat. Now I'm totally loose and going crazy. I'm like, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. It's less than 100 feet. I'm just all done here. Yep. They were going to pull me back, the guys on the boat. And the Sheltons are like, no, 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 she's got to refuel. Well, thank you for that, because I yeah. didn't know. And so they unhooked me, took me around. We refueled. We went, we did it again. And they, what, did you, what happened? What happened? What happened? I said, the buckle pulled through the back of the seat, and I was totally loose. Oh, so then they readjusted all of the harness to keep me tight. Because if you're not tight to that seat and the thing starts hopping around, you're, you're bouncing. Yeah. Right. No, I, I don't know how you guys do it now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I'm very tight in that seat. Good. Very tight. You gotta feel good about it. Yes. So how'd we do at that first one? Do you remember? Oh gosh, I don't even know. Do you know how we placed? Probably last. Probably last. That's okay. But you had fun. Yes. This is so. This is 2018. That's 2018. We're five years later now. Yep. What has yep. Mary learned? What has Mary loved about the sport? And what has Mary gone? Holy crap! Oh, about well, this thing. we've learned tons about you know driving, different aspects of driving. You know what? It's always you don't want to get, you don't want to touch the brake until you really have to. You know, don't use the brakes unless you really have to. That's always been on my mind. Don't use the brakes because you lose distance. But at Bowling Green, by the time I realized I was coming onto the line, I was hooked so hard I couldn't readjust. I was cramming on that right brake, and it just would not. They get hooked know. in, and you can't. doesn't matter. There's no, yeah, yep. there's no use of the brakes. 
So that was a valuable lesson recently. Um, you know, the tight in the belt, the belts being tight, the security. I don't think anybody can go like this with the handle unless they totally feel like they're secure in the vehicle that, you know, I can't get hurt. I can't get, you know, this doesn't prevent crashing the vehicle if I'm in here tight and sturdy. And, you know, that safety is our main thing. What's, um, who's been the biggest help from the pull in the road since Irv and Joe oh, at the start? Oh, boy. Any, well, any fellow class competitors that really help you and talk to you? Yeah, yeah, lots. I, Timmy Ray, when we went to our first region, too, Tim came right over and introduced himself, and he looked at me, and he says, you mind if I sit in your tractor? I said, you go right ahead, Tim. He sat in they there, have, and he's uh, looking what's at theirs, What's theirs named? Um, uh, Wicked Sensation. Yep. Okay. And Tim's been in it for years, 40 years, I think. Oh, wow. Minis. Uh, Kenny Baltimore, he's been pulling minis for years and years, too. Um Lots of the Region 2 guys, because we ran Region 2 in 18 and 19. Yep. Every single hook, which was crazy. There's like 20 hooks. And every hook is a drive for us. I say, what's, the, what's the closest Region 2? You, you guys live in New York, right? Yes. So yes. what's the closest drive? Last year, when Region 2 was at Langford, <laughs> that was our closest. And Langford's about 45 minutes. Yeah, because Joe Eater, when I talked to him, Joe Hader, when he talked to him, he always mentions that's kind of his good memory as a kid going to that. Going oh, to ours too. Ours too. I mean, but we... I grew up on a farm, so we'd always go to the tractor pull. It was it was a thing, you know. So we hurry up and get chores done so you can get up to the pull. And you know, we'd get up there and watch. And the kids, the little ones, I'm the oldest of seven, so the younger ones would fall asleep on the ground right by the guardrails because back then they, there wasn't this kind of horsepower. Yeah. Track. It was more like stock, maybe uh, Hans Boxler Senior, <laughs> and uh, who was the smoking Joe Tlek? Yep. They probably had the biggest ones on the on the track. How much horsepower speed. has the mini rod class picked up in the last five years? Jeez, I don't even know. Do you Mike? know? Five hundred horse, yeah, thousand, probably. probably. Yeah. Oops, yeah. Turn that way. That's it's all um, good. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're always, you know, that there's not much that's. We are all so closely matched in motors and chassis and all the other parts. The only thing that separates us sometimes is where you're sitting on the track. The hook position. The hook position. Yeah, the track goes away or comes yep. on. Especially um, in your class, yes, I've seen it. Especially because you're so light, and so much horsepower. That's why it's, yes. it's this class and the light supers are my two favorite to watch as a fan because the horsepower to weight ratio. Yeah, yeah, and it's Very exciting. Good. That's yep. that's why we fell in love with the class, you know. And back then there was probably only twelve or fifteen. I mean, last week, two weeks, whatever Bowling Green was this year, there was forty nine of us. Awesome. Forty nine. I was thirteenth out of forty nine, which we were thrilled. I know. Uh, we yeah, you go and tell people you got thirteenth. They're like, what? What? There's forty nine in the class. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Um, we never expected to, to 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 do that well, but we did. It. We've come a long way, and it shows in, in that respect. And I had an early a early early hook when the track was still good. The deal. But we've been in places where the Michigan or places I don't remember exactly where we were. I was at the top of the. I, was early in the class, but the top of the class in the region two would have anywhere between 18 and 23 competitors every single week. If you had less than 15, you had a small class. Yeah. And I was leading for a very short time, and all of a sudden they built a road behind me, and everybody went farther than I went. Yep. And that was like the first time that I got close to 300, so I was so excited that I got that part. <laughs> but and then zoom, zoom, yeah, zoom, zoom, yeah, zoom, yeah, zoom. Yeah, and I had ninth or tenth or whatever, but you know, it's sometimes the placing isn't important as the run. Yeah, if you know you had a good pass, you have to own some of that. Yeah. Have you been to Lumberton before? Yes. Okay, how many Last times? Last year. Last year? First? Last year was our first. Yeah. Okay. And do you, good first. track, did you enjoy it? Yes, yes. We like the track, we like the, you know, uh, the people, the, the venue, it's all great. We've been doing Raleigh now for three years. Yeah. And that's the North Carolina State Fair, right? Yes. Okay, good yes. deal. Yes, and we love Raleigh. Good it's, deal. It's um, kind of a pain to pull over there because there's a long truck into the, Fairgrounds. Yeah. yeah. Every I swear every state fair, you are you're the you're the you're the act that day. <laughs> yes. 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 We, I know what you're talking about. Well, so one final question for you: If you could steal the keys to anybody's pulling vehicle, doesn't matter what class, oh, past or present, what are you taking? Wow. And, you, and you don't have to. If you break it, you get one pass. One pass. Well, it doesn't you, matter if I break it. Who's 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 you grabbing, or what what vehicle, <sighs> past or present? Wow. Any class. I don't mind. I. I got to say, it would probably be Kenny's Mini. Okay. Ken Vini's Mini. Just because it is so consistent he's and he's the man. <laughs> he's been at it for so many years that, that maybe there's something to it. that Maybe it drives different. Who knows? Yeah. I, don't know. I don't know. Where would you pull it? 
Any any track. Where would you any take it? Any track. I'd want it. I want it back home. I'd want it in Langford nice. to show off for everybody. Nice. This has been a full pull exclusive with Mary Kale. She's awesome. Thank you. She's spending their inheritance. Her kids, um, they had to get jobs. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's terrible. They both have good jobs. We don't <laughs> worry about that. Thanks for watching.